Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and back to Maker Monday. I am so excited to have these days back because I have missed them. So I have been out on my porch print site downloading some digitals and yes, this will be a journal to come. I did this one on the wrong kind of paper, so we're going to play with this paper today. But look at these prints. Aren't they beautiful? And I just figured, now this one I printed on a different kind of cardstock. I don't know if I like it as much on the yellow, but we'll see. We'll play around. We'll see what we come up with. Anyway, those are the digital prints. But there were also a bunch of fussy cuts. I did, this was uh, Junk Journal Lover Fussy Cuts. And yeah, I just, I fell in love with them and I needed some fussy cutting. So I did some, again, on different kinds of paper just to play and to see what I could come up with. Now, one of the fussy cuts, I'm going to set these aside. That's my, my, my tray for fussy cutting. I do that in when I'm watching TV. So this was a fussy cut. And what I really liked, and I'm going to try to bring it up here so you can see it really well, was I really liked that page. And I thought, ooh, I think I can do that. I think I know how to do that. I don't know if I could do the scallop part, but I can do the rest of it. So I'm, I have a, just here a piece of plain coffee dyed paper. We're gonna put something on the, on the inside. We'll set that up there for now. And what I did was I started making these little envelopes out of one, because I, I did this twice. I, I goofed this up twice. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it is what it is. So I'm going to come down here and I want to cut this at four and three quarters ish. I think that's what I did with this one. Is that four and three quarters? Let's see, let's double check. Okay, that was five inches. Is five inches going to be okay? Five inches, this is just a little bit big, but we can do it. So I'm gonna go a hair shy of five inches, just one quarter or one eighth of an inch shy of five inches. So that's one piece and then I'm gonna do it again. And I'm gonna do five, hang on. Trying to line myself up here so I get a straight edge. Five and a quarter. And I will take this little strip and save it because it'll be something else. Okay, then I came up two inches. Now these are each uh, an inch, so this is an easy measurement to do on my board. I came up two inches and then I came at, oh, I want to make it a decent, whatever the width of my ruler is. My ruler is one and a quarter, so I'm coming up one and a quarter. So let me do the same thing here. I'm going to come up two inches. And I'm not, obviously, I'm not really measuring this very well. If I'm a little bit more than two inches, it doesn't really matter. There's two inches. And then the width of my ruler. There. Okay. And then all I got to do is fold this over a little bit, lining up my edges. And I'm leaving a little space here so that there's some space so that, that you can actually put things in it. If you put it too close it's hard to put anything inside of it now they're not exact but that's okay I don't I don't need them to be exact this one's a little bit bigger and my thought was here and here and here on the page now I'm going to save these because you can see I made some smaller ones so I'm going to do that again with these, I'm gonna make some little envelopes. And we'll talk about a couple different ways to do things with them, some things, some different things to do with them as we go along. 
I cut that one up a little bit high. I'm going to bring that down just a little bit. There we go. Because there's not really a whole lot for the for the flat. Okay, we're going to set the, all those guys aside for the moment. We're going to deal with just these guys. Get out my art, my uh, fabric tag. Now, before I do anything, I definitely want to distress these. This is a. Um, this is going to be a, I don't know, I want to, almost want to say Edwardian. I want to make a Victorian roses and flowery and lace. I want to do the, I want to do something girly. I also want to make a black and white. So, Yeah. I'm kind of doing a little bit of everything here. Now, I think what I do want to do, let me grab my Stampin' Off page, because I don't care about the back on that one. I am going to go through and just give this a little bit of color on the top, so that when it's folded over and you open it up, it does not look really, really white. There we go. Uh, yeah, I like that. Now I'm a little bit off over here, but I can cut that. Okay. Art glitter glue. Now I could also bring my ends in, but I think I'd rather do something with the top. So let's go ahead and... This is all an experiment, guys. I have not tried to do these before on a page like this. So this is brand new to me, and we're just playing. We're just folding our envelopes up, and we're going to play. Okay, now I don't want that hanging off the edge there. I do like the torn edge of it, but we're going to have to go with that. Yeah, that's better. Now i got to do this again. It still looks a little torn and a little ragged, and that's okay. I want that. Okay. Now, it would be really nice if I could scallop those edges, but I do not have a scalloper. I don't have any way of doing that. So I'm just going to round them. So there, first one's done. We gotta come up with a closure. We'll do that in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and ink all of these, and I will be right back. And I am back. So all three of my pieces are done and ready to go on to... Oops, you know what? I never... Okay, they're not completely done. I didn't close this one up. So let me go ahead and do that. Come on. I was so excited to be finished with these three. And I'm not. There we go. Now we are. Okay. So now we have our three envelopes. They're not exactly the same size. This one is definitely larger, so we're going to put you down at the bottom. And you guys are both the same size. Now, when this actually goes into the journal, this could, I probably will put a little bit of lace along the side. Um, I thought about putting a little lace on here, but I'm a little concerned grab my laces I don't because this is not this is just computer paper and I'm a little concerned that putting a lace on there of any sort will make it too heavy let's see I put a little bit of lace there well actually you know what I kind of like that now that I'm thinking on it do I want that lace do I want this one? This one's a little bit finer. 
This is a very, very little lace. Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay, before we put these on, let's set that aside. Let's cut a little bit of lace. I'm going to grab my scissors. These are my fabric scissors. They don't come anywhere near the paper. Okay, so we're going to cut that one right there. Um, as to where I got my laces, I've got them a couple different places. Uh, Bits and Pieces in Fairport had a whole bag of them at one point, and I picked that up. Um, I got them, some of them I've gotten in Happy Mail, and a couple of them I buy in the store. If I see a lace that I really, really like, and or it's exactly the right color for something I'm working on, I will pick up a piece of lace in the store. Not very often, though. Mostly, they're just pieces I have gotten hither and yon. All right, we'll put you together. If you want to know, watch the video where I make these little thingamabobs for my laces. I will put try to remember to put the link for that down below so that you can see the process of putting these together and doing organizing all my laces into my this is from an, a sewing machine an old sewing machine a singer sewing machine i love it okay i'm just going to put grab that down it's not my glue page but it's available at the moment i'm just going to put a very thin line of fabric tack right along the edge and then attach my lace. Guess I didn't need to round the corners, but that's okay. Okay, we'll let that dry. Another thin line. I have ordered more Fabri-Tac because, boy, do I go through Fabri-Tac. I should probably, I know people keep talking about art glitter glue. I have yet to order it. If you have a preference, let me know in the comments below. Which one do you use, Fabri-Tac or art glitter glue? Or both, and what do you use them for? How do you use them? Tell me how you use your glues. All right. Last piece of lace going on. A little bit. There we go. Get it centered. Close up that puppy. And bring the page down again. Okay. One of these is longer than the other. That's one of the short ones. I think that's one of the short ones. I think this is the long one. Oh, wow. I really like Doesn't that dress that up nice? Yeah, I'm glad I did that. I definitely am glad I did that. I like that a lot. Okay, I'm not putting anything on the page itself. This is a page that has some decoration here. It did come through a little bit on this side. So um, we're going to go ahead and leave that there. All right, now I could do this as a pocket behind, but like I said, these are actually fairly thin because it's just computer paper. So I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead and put this right down. Come on. If I can get the glue to come out. There it comes. And of course, then it comes out in a glob. Let's smooth that glob out a little bit. I want, I don't want them too close to the center. My center of my page is here. I don't want them too close to the center because this is going to be a relatively uh, bulky one as it is. And I'm going to do the bottom one next. You'll Because if you do the, the one in the middle next, then you're kind of jockeying for position, trying to get them all even and whatnot. 
Whereas if I do the bottom one next, I can see where my center is. You'll see. It makes it easier in the long run. So I'm going to go down fairly close to the bottom on this one. And see, now I can figure out exactly where I want the one in the middle so that I have an even top and bottom. There we go. Now, if I were more of an engineer, like my dad was, before I took this off and did all of this, I would have put marks on the paper as to exactly where I want everything. And there are crafters who do that. More power to you. I'm more of an eyeballer, which means sometimes things are not exactly lined up as well. And you can see I don't have exactly the same size on these. All right. So let me grab one of my other sheets here that I liked. This is going to be. Oh, here we go. Let's grab this one. This is one of the signature pieces. So, I mean, I've, I've, obviously I have to do something yet on the insides here, but look at that. Okay, so there we go. On Maker Monday, we have put three pockets on a page of a new signature. Uh, one that is still forming in my head. I do not have all of the particulars. I said exactly how this one's going to work yet, but I have some ideas. All right, if you're enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the like button to let YouTube know that you like them. In the meantime, this is Cindy signing off.